My name is Charlie Lowenstein, and I'm Chief of Cardiology at the University of Rochester Medical Center. There's a new study out from the Quebec Heart Institute. It says that young people who think they're healthy might not actually be healthy. The study involved researchers who were imaging about 170 healthy young people, ages about 15 to 30. And they discovered, much to their surprise, that those people who thought they were healthy actually had disease in their blood vessels. They had fatty streaks, thick walls, their arteries were not perfectly healthy. This finding was surprising to the public because we generally think of heart disease as a disease of older people. But actually, if you read the literature going back, there have been suspicions about this for a long time. The first time that we ever realized that coronary artery disease can start when you're young is during the Korean War, where American medical doctors autopsied large numbers of victims who had died in the war. And they found that in the age of um, about 15 to 40 for the Korean War soldiers, about 75% had some sign of heart disease. Then during the Vietnam War, where there were also autopsies of relatively healthy people who had died in the war, doctors saw that about 50% of the victims of the war had heart disease. And these were all young Americans who thought they were pretty healthy. So this research really builds on that, on that foundation. Over the last decade, we've learned a lot about atherosclerosis. And what's been surprising is that atherosclerosis can occur at a very young age. For example, researchers have found that in infants, they can see one or two fatty cells, foam cells, on the aorta of infants. We've also learned that adolescents can have these fatty streaks, deposits of fat, in their heart blood vessels. And finally, we know that in young adults, ages 20 to 30, that there can be fibrous plaques, the first serious signs of heart disease. And we all know that after the age of 50, that there is an increased risk for these plaques to rupture, forming blood clots, which can lead to heart attacks and strokes. So here's how the new study adds to what we already know about atherosclerosis. In the Korean War and in the Vietnam War, we were autopsying people who were dead. What's interesting about this study is that we're taking a glimpse into the vessels of people who are living. So it could be a wake-up call to people, to young people, to realize that they might have heart disease and they should change their lives. This study raised another very interesting point. Is simply being overweight bad or is it the distribution of fat that's bad? For example, maybe someone who is obese but has fat in certain places doesn't have as big a risk from heart disease as a different person who has fat in other distributions. For example, this study emphasizes that if there is excess fat in your abdomen, if your waist is bigger than your hips, then you are at extra risk for heart disease. But why should that be? We don't really know why distribution of fat in one place rather than another is harmful. In fact, we don't even know the main determinants which cause excess fat to be deposited in one portion of the body or excess fat to be apportioned in a different part of the body. We have a lot more to learn about how obesity causes or increases the risk of heart disease. Lots of patients ask me, now that I have heart disease, can I reverse it? There's a huge amount of literature in the last 10 years where very careful clinician scientists give patients all sorts of drugs, modify their diet, change their lifestyle, and ask, once they have coronary artery disease, can we reverse it? Can we make the plaque smaller? Can we shrink the fatty streaks? Can we improve symptoms? It seems that the answer is symptoms can be improved, but you can't reverse the lesions. You can only stabilize them. So this study adds an extra warning to us. We have to be careful about heart disease, but we have to start worrying about heart disease for our patients at a much younger age. So the public needs to know that being overweight, having high blood pressure, having diabetes is not something to worry about when you're over 30 or 40 years old. It's something to worry about for people of all ages.